my name is Tim Olson from Emerson, and today I would like to show you a demo of the pump health monitoring, which is part of our overall essential asset monitoring suite of applications. So today I have is a regular little pump in which I'm going to be measuring the vibration on the pump and actually on the motor, because motors fail also. Um, and I have a wireless vibration transmitter and a gateway to get that signal. Process pumps in a normal facility, about 10% are deemed critical enough to actually have online monitoring. And what that means is that the remaining 90% of process pumps have to be checked either manually or just a preventive maintenance program. So the, the checking of uh, these manual checks are once a week, maybe once a month, and unfortunately that's not quite good enough in order to catch all the, the pump failures. And any type of pump failure can lead to a safety or an environmental incident, plus the unfortunate um, inevitable of shutting down your unit, uh, which is a financial burden. So in order to, instead of actually having people run around manually checking to get information, what we have is this vibration transmitter that goes to the gateway and which the information that's coming from there I can send to two different locations. The information is valuable to both maintenance and operations. So for maintenance I have a lot more detailed information and the benefit that they get is that they can predict and plan for condition-based maintenance. If the pump has its normal wear and tear uh, degradation, they predict and plan when they need to have on normal schedule when they need to actually uh, have maintenance for that pump. However, we work in a dynamic um, environment with plant, so not all pumps have the normal wear and tear. There are things that happen, um, abnormal operation, uh, such as cavitation, and when things like that happen, we want to send that information over to our operations and that alert means that they need to take immediate action to prevent failure on that pump. That may be switching to a backup pump, or if they don't have a backup pump, it would be a controlled shutdown in order to avoid the emergency situation where the pump had failed. The one key thing that I would like to say, though, is that with our wireless vibration transmitter, it's a CSI 9420, it has the overall vibration but it also has Emerson's peak view and the peak view really gives us a lot earlier detection on a problem that's going on in in the pump so there's time to take action and that's a real benefit time to take action and prevent the failure and now I'd like to show a demo of cavitating the pump in which the vibration higher vibration will send an alert to operations It takes a minute to update from the, the vibration transmitter. If you were standing here, you could hear that this pump actually sounds uh, quite a bit like gravel going through it. That's the, the sound of cavitation. Uh, you would hear the same thing if you were out in the field. And there we are. We have now the, the accelerometer that's on the pump for peak view has actually spiked up, indicating to us that we have an alarm, that we've been cavitating the pump, so operations receives that. The other accelerometer was on the motor that didn't cavitate. So again, the alert is on the pump, and we see that from operations. And today we, we showed a pump health monitoring demo, uh, but our capabilities go beyond just the pump. Uh, other rotating equipment, such as blowers or fans uh, or cooling fans, for example, rotating other rotating equipment are all part of an opportunity for you to take these wireless vibration uh, measurements. So in conclusion, if you would like to learn more about this and how it could benefit your plant, please visit us on the web at emersonprocess.com or speak with your local sales representative. Thank you for your time.